What's going on all you on track crusaders? Crusader Actual here and today we're going to be covering another Amber Lynn Reed video. So after a bunch of back and forth, Amber is continuing to do her 100 days of weighing in even though I'm pretty sure a couple of videos ago she was like contemplating the idea of not doing it but I'm pretty sure she figured out that it would not bode well for her if she did that. The comment section would be going pretty wild if she stopped doing her 100 days of weighing in because it's just yet another thing that she quits and we all know that our girl loves to quit things. It's just, I don't know. There's got to be something about it that she just really enjoys because it's it happens all the time. But she didn't do it. She's still doing her 100 days of weighing in. Also, as we took take a look at all the Legos, right? She's uh, moved on from the globe. She's done with that. And she's moving on to bigger and better things, even more expert Legos. So my girlfriend, what Jade Alex, whatever, bought her a new set of Legos. And it's like $700 or something like that. I'll put it right up here. But that's like how much this thing costs. It's, it's ridiculous. That's a lot to spend on Legos. But whatever. People have their own hobbies. I sure, I know I have mine and spend <laughs> a lot of money on dumb things sometimes. My girlfriend buys her a $700 Titanic Lego set. But this time, guys, this is for, it says 18 years and older on it. This is a big deal. This is a big step for our girl. These are actually expert Legos. It's not the Harry Potter ones that are for nine-year-olds. This is, we've doubled our age since that. This is good. Amber's trending in the right direction. Anyway, guys, we're going to cover, at the time of this video, her newest video, uh, which came out on, which came out on November 26, 2022. It's titled, Let's Go to Walmart, Getting Back on Track and Wrapping Gifts, Way in Days 18 through 20, Vlog. Uh, so that's pretty exciting, right? We're going back to Walmart. Don't you guys miss that with the Destiny and Becky era? Just... Ugh, all the times to go into Walmart. That was exciting. Those were exciting times. I'm hoping we're going to revisit those now. And then we'll see how this time she talks about getting back on track because uh, you, we've never heard this before, guys. This is totally different. So uh, who knows? We'll see what she plans on doing to get back on track because as we've seen, since the month of November hit, she's gone from the 490s back up into the 500s, right? You know, my honest uh, assessment right now, uh, if we continue trending in this direction, is she's going to be close to 550 by the end of December. So by the end of the calendar year, I think she might hit 550. I don't want that to happen, but just based on the trends and everything, I, I think that's kind of where we're heading right now. Especially too, just because the holidays are filled with eat a lot of eating, you know, just I don't know how it is in other countries, but... In America, like, we just love eating more than usual. So, like, as if our country doesn't already have an obesity problem, we just amp it up on the holidays. So, we'll see. Hopefully, she gets back on track for real. But uh, telling herself she's going to get back on track hasn't really done well in the past. So, we'll see what she does. Before we get into this video, I'm going to do things a little differently now. I know we're just getting to the point where we have so many members of the channel that I'm taking up a lot of time saying all their names. So in order to kind of get to the point of these videos and get to the reactions, I'm just going to list all of the Noble Knights right here. So special thanks to all these people right here. Thank you for your support to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in becoming a Noble Knight, please check the link below or hit join. Uh, it costs $2.99 uh, per month. And you get early access to videos as well as access to all Crusader actual unique emojis and get to use them in live streams and premieres since I premiere all my videos. Uh, and you also get a cool little badge next to your name that changes uh, every six months. But anyway, thank you again to Noble Knights. Thank you for making this channel possible and continuing to support it. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, with all that being said, let's get into this video. All right, November 20th. Good morning. Ladies. And we're starting with the animals. That's good. This is a big win. Amber's finally catching on. After like being on YouTube for nine years, she's finally listening to people saying that they want to see more of her animals. And we get wasabi proof of life. That's good. I was very concerned about wasabi for a long time. Hi. It's so beautiful. So by the way, I'm team wasabi all the way. Rarity and wasabi are both cute cats, but wasabi is definitely my favorite. Just don't tell Grayson I said that. He'll he'll beat my ass, dude. Please don't tell him. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. I woke up just a little bit ago. Took a shower. I've been watching a little bit of <laughs> Good, she included a shower. She she made sure to tell us she took a shower. In case any of you were wondering if she still showers, she's she's making sure you know. YouTube, but now I want to do my makeup, so we're gonna do a before and after 
so my makeup does not look good my hair doesn't look good but we love a before and after moment could have done better could be better yep 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 fishing for compliments got it about to go to walmart so just putting on my shoesies Ooh. It's and back to Walmart. This is it. This is the amber ver. This is the part of the amber verse I love the most. Twenty degrees. <laughs> Should have looked at the weather before I left the house. I was expecting like fifties, not twenty. So here's a screenshot of the weather app. It was twenty degrees. Feels <laughs> like eleven degrees. Good. I'm glad she included a screenshot of the weather. That's that's good. That's great. This is the content we need. Sorry, needed. but I would rather it be hot than that cold. But here we are. Here we go. We the Walmart. walk up to and freaking Walmart. I particularly came here yep. for some lights because we're going to put our tree up soon. Didn't grab the scooter. She made sure we knew she didn't grab the scooter. We we're going to wait for Vlogmas, but I think we're going to do it a little bit sooner. And I did see some ornaments that I really She's still saying it? Hold on. We're going back. We're going back a second. But I think we're going to do it a little bit sooner. And I did see some ornaments that I really like. She's saying ornaments, right? There's, I'm, I'm not hearing that wrong, right? She's putting a D in ornaments, right? She's saying ornaments, ornaments. <laughs> That's what she's saying, right? I'm not going crazy, right? <laughs> All these years, and she's still saying ornaments. We have Bambi, Feline well, vibes, of course. and then this cute gingerbread. Um, obsessed, and then another deer, but a white deer. We're really pushing all this deer and Bambi stuff, aren't we? Okay. My theme is white and red with a little sprinkle of green. That is what I really like when it comes to like my Christmas decor. Here I am with a little dog globe. Isn't that just like Christmas colors? <laughs> oh my gosh. So Feline was trying to find a stocking with an F on it for Feline. She couldn't find it. Nope. There was so many stockings, but no Fs. And then of course... I mean, she's got like 12 names. She could have picked anything. She could have picked a, picked a J for Jade, an M for my girlfriend, or G for just girlfriend, freaking A for Alex, W for wipey or wifey. Like, dude, she has like five other options she could have chosen from, dude. She could have found something. That would have been funnier than Feline. If she, if she actually chose like a M or a G for my girlfriend, that would have been really funny. I would have, I would have applauded that. I had to get a, a mini toy. And then look at these like swirly trees. We wanted to get one, but we couldn't justify. Ew, I don't know how I feel about swirly trees. So my wife and I just decorated the other day. Just because as soon as like Thanksgiving ends, we just go straight into like Christmas decorations. So we started doing downstairs and then soon we're going to do this area, my little backdrop here in the next couple of days. But we just do like, I like traditional Christmas trees. I don't like the swirly stuff. I've seen them around too. I just don't think it's appealing to me. $135. Oh, that's steep Lane too. is helping me wrap because I'm very bad at it. I like how she said she can't justify that, but she can justify all the other dumb shit she spends money on. My girlfriend can justify $700 on a freaking Lego set. So, thank you, babe. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> uh, this is actually for oh, a friend. You guys are actually going to see this go down in video form, so don't you worry. But look at how- Feline and I- Oh, I hate that I just called her that. My girlfriend and I have the same shoes. <laughs> I lift in those shoes too. I have like eight different colored pair of Converse, high top Converse that I lift in. The wrapping paper is... But those all white ones are one of them. We actually just got these while we were at Walmart. And this one has unicorns and like colorful uh, snow. Of course. It's totally my friend's vibe, like completely. And then this one says unicorns on it. It says, believe in Santa and unicorns. <laughs> so cute. But I'm not a good rapper. So, Feline said she'd do it for me. Thankfully. <laughs> Thank God that she has my girlfriend. My girlfriend literally has just done everything. Amber's like, like she doesn't do anything. Oh, okay. Amber, she's, uh, she's doing the tape. Thank God. Amber's that person in a group project where, like, they don't provide anything to the group project. They'll just, like, hand you, like, a utensil or, like, repeat something that someone says just to act like that they're, like, contributing to the group. This is Amber right now. Just handing, like, pieces of tape. The taper. I'm the one that... Yeah, I'm the tape girl. I'm the one that rips oh, off the tape in hopes that I don't cut myself. So, totally off topic. <laughs> yeah, because tearing tape is the hardest part of Amber's day. But um, I never gave you guys an update on the movie Barbarian. So, Feline gave it a 6 out of 10. She said that she kind I haven't of seen this movie. I don't know. certain parts. I'm not going to say what. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. So, 
it was okay. I felt like certain things were predictable, like the last part, the survivor, if you will, is too predictable for me. But there's another movie, actually, that I think we're gonna watch today. Watching Amber tear tape is amazing, dude. I've never seen someone struggle so much doing this. It's called Smile. So I'm really excited to um, give that one. There you go. That one. That one was clean. Good job, Amber. It's, it's She's getting better. Be one of the greater horror movies that has been made in the recent years, because horror movies has just become like too predictable. They need to come out with more Christmas horror movies, like really good horror movie. And I would love to see. Are there any good Christmas horror movies? Every time I see, like, I hear about a Christmas horror movie. Or like I, I I watch like YouTubers like Elvis the Alien and uh oh who else there's another uh, Fomento uh, that do like movie reviews and stuff and criticize movies and like every time it's like a crazy wonky like a Christmas one it's always like a straight up B movie just like out of control ridiculous horror movie with Christmas it's like there's no good ones I don't even know how you make a good one Blake Lively in a horror unless I'm missing one movie now that would be fun to watch. Same. I think I'm gonna. Why Blake Lively? Isn't she? Ma she's married to Ryan Reynolds, right? But like, why her specifically in a horror movie? I like take a nap though. So, yeah. I thought she didn't like naps. Didn't she say she hates taking naps? She's not a nap girl. But then imagine like going to Walmart and that's like the hardest part of your day and you're like, oh man, like I really need a nap after going to Walmart. Baby girl, what are you doing? <laughs> and, and distributing tape. What? <laughs> I love when cats are cats. You know what I'm saying? All right. It is yeah, cats probably like it when you actually play with them for a change too, you know? Time. They're probably just bored all the time. For the mini brands. Oh, I hate these. While I was actually at Walmart, I almost bought the mini brands fashion. What? Because I feel like that's more up my speed, but... Up my speed. Up my speed. <laughs> what does that even mean? It's like a, that's more my speed and that's right up my alley, but like mushed together. I already told myself I want to collect all the toys. We have a Create and Color with colored pencils. So it's a Crayola coloring set. What the hell do you do with all this stuff, dude? Like, it, it's just going in a box and being, like, donated eventually, right? A bunch of balloons. Oh, so it's, like, balloons. What Literally do you do with all this? Just for paper, cardboard boxes. But you know what? It's so cute. Okay, don't come for me. <laughs> oh, my God. This one's so cute. Even though it's literally just a box with foam inside. Um, it's glitter markers. These are just so cute. Is there like a, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I bet there's like a wild Reddit page that's like dedicated to like everyone finding each part of this or some shit. I don't know. But like, I, I, I don't get it. What's the point of this? It, it's literally like she's going to throw it all away soon. Cute. The little Crayola things I think might be like my favorite besides the Rubik's Cube that I have. Oh my God. Karate Chopper SpongeBob. Now that is what I'm talking about. Now that is worth the money. Look how cute this little guy is. I wonder how, how much are these stupid things, dude? Last one. Oh, I got a grocery cart. Wow, I'm surprised I, ha I didn't get one sooner. I have to build it though, Jesus. Dude, it's just like a Lego set. What do you mean? Isn't this what you like doing? Oh, it comes with a little tiny sticker. Oh, so back, I dude. put together the grocery cart. <laughs> Took her hours to do, dude. And have little instructions. Now I'm gonna put on the little sticker here. I'm gonna put on the sticker. She had to do two takes of that because that's how hard it was for her to put on that sticker. There we go. So I could buy my little glitter markers. What else do we have here? I definitely want to buy a Rubik's Cube. Again, this is like my absolute favorite. Oh my God, dude. And then obviously we need a camera because I'm a vlogger. Oh, the cart is overfilling. <laughs> so I'm- Yeah, sure, yeah, vlogger, okay. I'm not wanting to bombard you guys per se with my Titanic logo, I guess she technically is, but, but it's just like, it's just so funny. exciting. And 
Dude, my back itches so bad. Oh my goodness gracious, please. I like itch like 30 times this video. I think for every video, I wanna just do a quick random update if I have done any of it, obviously, um, of how much I've done. So I was working on it a little bit last night, which as you can see here, and- Damn, dude, this now, is extensive. I just wanna show you how much I have completed. Look at this. It is so awesome. <laughs> Like, it's so much work. And if you want to talk about an expert Lego, ma'am, this would be it. Because it's 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 a lot of work, but it's just so fun to me. I I can't quite explain it. And I'm just so grateful that Feline got this for me. Like Is this like shade at Becky now? Is this subtle shade at Becky for never buying Amber's $700 Lego set? It is so thoughtful. <laughs> so expensive. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about the price for sure. She's going to keep telling us how freaking expensive it was is like a money flex. I lie. That's why I haven't gotten it for myself because it is a freaking pretty penny. Like, well, she had to spend money on Uber Eats, right? So like, it's crazy expensive. But my desk, because we measured it, the Titanic is 53 inches and my desk is like 54. Oh, my God, dude. This thing's like almost four and a half feet long. Holy shit. <laughs> so I'm going to have this huge freaking ship on my desk. So it's like meant to be. My desk is like the perfect size. So, but that is literally just step one and step two. Oh! <gasps> Still here at the angles, angle in, back at it. Oh my god! That looks so good. Okay, can you just show us instead of keeping Wait us right here? Guys, look at Thanks. what Celine did. She surprised me. Dude, this woman does everything. Imagine, dude. Ugh, imagine being in a relationship with someone that doesn't do a damn thing. Like, to me, I I kind of view, you know, relationships and, like, my marriage and stuff. Like, we're a team, right? Like, my wife and I are, like, a fucking team. Like, help ev each other with, like, everything, do everything together. And, like, sure, like, we do acts of kindness here and there. Like, I'm not saying don't do this thing or don't take the initiative to, like, help set up. But, like, I mean, decorating for Christmas is something we do together. But, like... Amber doesn't do anything, dude. She doesn't help with anything. Like, she barely waters the goddamn plants. Like, Feline does all of that. Freaking Feline wraps, or my girlfriend wraps all the presents. My girlfriend, like, does most of the shopping, I'm sure. Unless they just order online. But, like, Amber doesn't help with anything. And then Amber didn't hear all this going on. Well, like, surely there's a lot of noise being made with my girlfriend setting up this tree. And then Amber just, like, didn't do any of it. <laughs> Okay. She put the freaking Christmas tree up, put the lights in. Oh my god, it looks. And if she's really trying to get us to simp for my girlfriend, like this is just a. It's not working. It's just like. All it does is highlight how bad of a partner Amber is. Like she. All she's good at is just spending money on someone. She doesn't like do anything else for them. Stunning. 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 And then look at this. What are you doing? I hate her, I hate her animal voice so much. I I, I can't stand it. It like it, it's nails on chalkboard to me. It hurts. It hurts my soul. Things. Yeah. And there's crinkles in the box. Yeah. Wow, babe. Wait, I kind of want this up all year long. We like, keep it up all year long. Wait, are you serious? If you want to. Because doesn't it just look good? <laughs> it's just a tree with white lights, dude. So. My wife and I are doing the uh, the rainbow lights this year, like the multicolored one, because we just feel like, I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about it. I feel like typically they look kind of tacky, but like it, there's just something nostalgic about like the multicolored lights, like the blue, red, green, like whatever. So we did that around like archery mixed with like white lights and then like throughout the house too. <laughs> so I don't know when we're going to do the ornaments, but I mean, this looks so ornaments. freaking good. Like Wow, babe. Thank you. Of course, baby. I'm glad you like it. Of course I do. And now, you can put the gifts. I'm going to wait until we do ornaments to put the gifts Well, yeah, yeah. That's true. Oh. Now they're both in there. Last year, we had these, but... My God. There we go. The lighting's better. Fixed it. But um, these lights just didn't... It just didn't look, you know, the best it could. So we went to Walmart to get the lights with like green string on it. So it just like looks a little better. Look at these cats. <laughs> They're so cute. Maybe is this string the uh, tree bumper? Let me see. Yeah, it looks straight to me. Y'all look at how cute. I mean the snowflake on top looks like it's, it's leaning. 
The snowflake's actually a homage to Mr. Snowflake. That's that's why they got it. Look at my babies. <laughs> Earlier, Wasabi was laying in this part, and then just now he was in here, and we didn't even know. And then he like comes creeping out. It was so funny. But we're actually sitting in the living room, enjoying the Christmas, and we're about to watch a movie. We're gonna watch Smile, I think. But this is my view right now. Dude, I have to. I, it's Christmas so annoying. I have to change vibes, my yeah. <laughs> my volume so much. This Amber's crap just changes all the time. Oh, of course, here's this shot. Because we got to be reminded that they love each other, guys. I I don't know if you know this, but they're in a relationship. <laughs> I bet Amber... I bet Amber's like one of the worst people to watch a movie with. I bet she talks the entire time. She constantly asks, asks questions. And then, like, does not pay attention to anything. Hence why she's, like, doing this the entire time, probably. Because we've seen it with Destiny. Destiny would be like, stop, I'm trying to pay attention to the what's going on. And Amber's just like constantly talking. Right. No, yeah, I mean... Just like imagine you're watching a movie with someone and they like start bringing up their phone and like fucking moving around and laughing and doing random shit. <laughs> hey, at least they're still using scary. that $100 blanket. Glad that's not going to waste. Oh, heck no. And they do this the entire time. So we just finished the movie that was creepy as hell. What do you was, think? It was, it was good. You liked it zero through ten. What do you think? Everything, everything with her has got to be a zero out of ten. Everything or zero to ten. Everything has to. Every rating for everything, dude. I would give that for a horror movie, like a nine point five. Wow. Yeah. I think I'll give it a good eight point five nine. So that's actually Does she mean like an 8.59? Is that the number or 8.5 or a 9? If she said 8.59, that's dumb. It's actually pretty high for me. But I know, we know Amber loves her decimals. She loves decimals with everything, especially with her weight. Me, It was really scary. When it comes to like scary, like can I sleep tonight? I'll give it a 10. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. It was oh, well, remember, guys, she has insomnia, duh. Like, she's self-diagnosed with insomnia, so she can't sleep anyway. For sure. Yeah, now so not like this I'm matters. Flashbacks. What? I got you, baby. Mm. Thanks, memes. I, I, I just, I hate it, dude. I hate it. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Too chicken shit. Yeah, we know that. Like, call back to the freaking jumping off a six inch curb. Yeah. Look at that baby. Baby boyzer. You guys, he doesn't go up here often. So. Well, that cat cannot fit in there. Wasabi cannot fit in that. Oh. I don't know. He has a wild hair up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> baby boy. <laughs> like, I remember when we first got this cat tree, which was like over a year ago. Um, Actually, wait. It might be just about a year. Um, I tried to get him up in that part, and he just wasn't having it. But I guess he likes it now. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Okay, so I am getting ready for bed currently, but I wanted to do my weigh-in before I forgot. 505.0, and yesterday was an over eight day. <laughs> just like, look at this, dude. Look. Look at all that. Look how many days of intuitive eating there are. There's one, two, you can't see it on, you can't see some of it on this with my face in the way, but you got one, two, three, four, five days of intuitive eating out of the 18 that she's done. So I haven't been- And like intuitive eating for Amber too, oh my god dude, I feel like there, I feel like it doesn't mean anything, right? Because like her intuitive eating could still be eating like in a calorie surplus, so it might not even matter, it's just like- Instead of eating 6,000 calories, she's doing 4,000, which could potentially still lead to weight gain, right? So, I, I don't know. This is all arbitrary. Like, this whole list that she's making, like, doesn't mean anything. And it doesn't reinforce any of her behavior either. Like, it's not going to get her to focus on not overeating and not binging and stuff. But she's just going to look at this. Like I said my last video, she's just going to look at this list and just be like... Oh, cool. Look look at this, guys. And then she's going to keep doing the same shit that she's done. She doesn't ever look at this and be like, oh, shit, like, I need to self-correct. And if she says she's going to, she doesn't do it. So it clearly doesn't matter what she writes on that piece of paper. Last week, which makes me really freaking happy. I'm not going to lie. Today is Sunday, and tomorrow... She could draw a freaking, like, big wiener on that page 
and it would mean the same of it, like it, it would it would it would be the same as like what she has written there. Like it doesn't mean anything. It's, it's just there. She just wrote it. Oh, um, is obviously Monday because hi Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I don't well know. every day is like Saturday for Amber because she doesn't do anything ever. Oh, I just feel like I go through such phases where it's like I'm on track, I'm losing weight, I'm doing really good, and then no, uh, no. You've gained the same, like, 10 pounds. You've gained and lost the same, like, 10 to 50 pounds for years, dude. Like, nothing's changed. Like, no, you haven't had periods where you do really well. It lasts very briefly, and then you gain all that weight back. So let's, let's just get out of here with that one. It just disappears. And normally, or at least within the last, like, year, I haven't really been documenting so much of my overeating and so much of my binging. But with this 100 days, I noticed I am- Well, I mean, you certainly tried to post it on TikTok for views, but okay. Sharing a lot more of that. By the way, I was just listening to YouTube, so <laughs> I have it paused right now. My favorite thing about Amber is, <laughs> is she just brings up listening to YouTube because she's always doing it. Her office where she claims to like, she claims it's her office, but it's just where she goes to watch YouTube and eat food. I, I just don't know. I get a kick out of thinking about that every time. Every time she brings up watching YouTube, that's what I think about. Um, obviously, I am documenting a lot more of that, um, but I just feel... Well, remember, she said she wasn't going to do these things because of the comments, but now she's going to keep doing these things. Since tomorrow's Monday, I really feel like I want to get back to doing good, doing better. <sighs> Dude, this is such... This is such a pet peeve of mine. And it's advice I offer to all of you, right? Like, if you if you plan on, st like, you know, say you're in a bad spot in your diet or bad spot with exercise, and, like, you want to start self-correcting and getting better and getting out of a rut or whatever it is, right? Like, putting an arbitrary day on it, like, Amber's done it constantly. We've seen over the years how many times she's done this, where she's like, all right, on Monday... I'm starting it for real, you guys, on Monday, on Monday. I'm going to splurge until Monday, but on Monday, everything's going to change. That is such a bullshit thing to do. You don't need to do that. Just like, if you mess up, it needs to, and you know you messed up, it needs to start then. You don't need to put a date on it. And I don't think putting a date on it helps. Like, even thinking about it, like, psychologically, I, I don't think it helps. I think it just is kind of a, I'm trying to say this in the nicest way, but I feel like it's pretty weak to do because it's giving yourself more time to keep making mistakes. Cause I think instinctively if someone's like, oh, I'm gonna start this on Monday, they're gonna keep fucking up making mistakes and then try to start doing it Monday. When like, it needs to happen. Like if you mess up on food and you wanna get better, it needs to start with that next meal. Like start right away. Nothing's saying you can't. It's just you, it's just someone wanting to put more room for them to make mistakes, right? You know what I mean? I don't know, that's just how I feel about it. People might feel different, but I, I, we've just seen it with Amber. Amber's a perfect example of this because she's done it every time, saying, Monday, I'm going to do this different. And then it's just like she binges and overeats or whatever until Monday, does good for like two days, and then the cycle repeats. I have a little bit of a meal plan ready for me and made a little sore list because I do have to... Well, are we doing the factor meals? Are we done with the factor stuff already? Groceries <laughs> tomorrow. And I just... Groceries tomorrow? You just went to Walmart. Why didn't you get groceries then? Have high, high hopes for the living. <laughs> okay. I'm, that's copyright strike right there. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I'll be right back. Teethies are brushies. So I have a feeling... Damn, we get proof of... Not proof, but we get told she showered and brushed her teeth all in one video. Our girl's coming up in the hygiene world, guys. She's she's really moving on. That we're gonna be really taking care of herself. Before Vlogmas. Actually, I know that to be true. So get ready for some losses because I just feel rejuvenated, okay? Sometimes. <laughs> what, after 20 days of like messing up that you feel rejuvenated? It clicks and sometimes okay. it doesn't. And you know, ever since I stopped Ozempic, ever since I stopped taking estrogen, I stopped keto, like so much has happened. It's just overwhelming and. So two things have happened and it's overwhelming. Virtually. And the keto thing, dude, you can't even use keto as like an excuse. You did it for like a week, maybe. <laughs> that didn't lead to you gaining weight, sweetheart. That was, it wasn't keto's fault. It's because you ate in a calorie surplus constantly. It's because you've been eating a cal calorie surplus for years, dude. Aunt, my it's not just keto's fault. It's not Ozemp. Oh my God, dude, my it's so annoying. Side of me has been winning a little bit more than usual. 
Dude, I love the hard cuts, dude. I love the hard cuts. There's no warning that's like, hey, all right, we're going to transition to November. Talk to you in the next, or November 21st. We're going to talk to you in the next video. And it, it's just a hard cut and then the title card. Peak so, editing, dude. dude. This is peak editing. I remember when I had like thousands of earrings. Oh, so we're going to get more earrings now because that turned out really well that we're going to do this again, huh? Well, the website that I bought it from, a lot of them, is Niho, Niho Jewelry. I don't know. Neho, dude. Neho. Oh, Neho. Oh my god, dude. That 3.9 GPA really coming in clutch right now. Like, oh. Neho. <laughs> it's Neho. This is Mandarin Chinese for hello, right? Neho. Dude, girl, homegirl needs to leave the house every once in a while. Like, this woman has no exposure to the outside world. Neho. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it. But they I don't know. I get it's. I guess it's an easy mistake, but like, I just don't know how you don't look at that and be like, "Oh, ni hao!" Like, this is another language. This isn't English, and like, ni hao is a pretty common phrase that people hear over the years, like Mandarin Chinese for hello, right? Sent me some goodies. I haven't bought from them in I want to say like a year and a half. So I wanted to open this with you guys. Cool. I can't wait till she tries to start selling these to her audience. <laughs> I did not pay for this. This is just some goodies. Isn't that nice? I was so confused at first. Like when I got oh it, I was like, God. did I buy something that I don't remember that I bought? But it's just little gifts. Is this a bracelet? I don't really wear bracelets. This is a wholesale <laughs> company. Uh, yes. They have really, really cheap stuff. Um, but it's like cute stuff. So this is a bracelet. I'm gonna open the rest. Man, all that like fake gold stuff's gonna turn green in like a day. <laughs> and then I'll just show you guys. So we have some Christmas like hair barrettes, which is cute. We have six. Okay, this is all going in a box after Christmas and just going straight to Goodwill. It's going, oh my God, dude. There's just so much like crap, dude. She's buying so much crap. Santa, There's so um, much. Rudolph. I would never wear these bracelet not my style like none of this is my style which i feel so bad but it's super sweet we have some earrings and a necklace these are <laughs> into the box or it's gonna be she's gonna give them as gifts to like whoever <laughs> like they're gonna end up being gifts to my girlfriend or something and i think these are like <laughs> stickers i don't know but this cute little stocking like this would be a perfect gift for like a little girl we could like put um the gifts in here but i don't know anyone um, I don't know. I think I'm probably going to give this stuff to Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, there it is. We saw that coming from a mile away. I feel like this website probably gives all these goodies to all their customers, which is really nice of them, but just not my jam. You guys should check them out, though. Can you believe we've made it to day 19 already? I waited in today at 506.6 so today is my first day of like truly 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 trying and <laughs> right it certainly wasn't november 3rd when this started guys that that was just that was a fake one all right now we're really starting it took 19 days of failing but now we'll now we're getting serious guys this she was just this was all the warm-up this is all part of, part of amber's master plan right she intentionally put on this weight because now she's going to start trying to lose weight, she's gonna show us how easy it is and she's gonna do it. So she's just gonna drop like 50 pounds super quickly and be like, see guys, this is how easy it is. I'm so good at losing weight. <laughs> that's the plan guys. This is, that's my theory. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is only on gonna track. get worse. That's why I wrote back on track. Um, last night I did binge. You what? So going forward, I think I'm going to be logging on this paper a little bit differently. <laughs> last night I did binge, okay. But you guys will see that in tomorrow's uh, video or tomorrow's clip. Damn, that was a fast day already to 22nd November. Here we go. Hello. Again, just a hard cut again. Hello. Welcome to the next day, a new day. I want to give you guys a Lego update already. I wanted to only do one Lego update per video, but since there's several days in this vlog, you know, it's fine. Look at what we have. My Titanic is being built, ma'am. I am an actual constructor building the Titanic, and we have a- Why are you the way that you are? Little flag here. We have a flag here. I wonder if she knows what countries these flags represent. <laughs> Part of me doesn't think so. That I got to put on. And then there's this whole section here that I'm working on. Look at that. Wow. 
so i'm excited thanksgiving is coming up so i'm assuming that the stores are packed right now so instead of actually physically going to the grocery store we ordered um our food our groceries off of instacart and seems like pretty much every single thing that <laughs> Yeah, because that's why they ordered their food off Instacart. As if they haven't done that every freaking single time they get groceries. Like, uh, at least like 80% of the time they order off Instacart or whatever grocery delivery app. They seldom go to the grocery store and get food unless it's like Sprouts, I think, right? That I wanted is out of stock. So and even then, I think it's just like my girlfriend that does it. It's certainly not Amber. I have to either refund or try to find something different which is fun um uh oh that food aggression i'm so sorry amber i'm so sorry you live in a country where like you can just order your food and get it delivered to you but now you're inconvenienced because this food that you want that you probably shouldn't be ordering i'm sure it's like bad shit isn't available for you so i'm sorry that that's so terrible i'm sure everyone can sympathize and feels horrible about that i literally just got a notification on my phone saying that something is out of stock yet again so I think we just waited a little too late to buy stuff for Thanksgiving, but that's okay. Um, How dare you guys? How dare y'all steal food from our girl? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you all? You are terrible people. Um, Lynn and I will be cooking some Thanksgiving foods together, which I don't think I've ever done before. I don't think I've ever made any sort of Thanksgiving anything. I don't well, yeah, you've probably never helped your partner do anything like that required any sort of effort on your end. So yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. I don't think we're having any meat though. Oh, yeah, because they hate meat, guys. They'll eat meat, but they hate meat. Might get a rotisserie chicken moment. I don't know. Neither of us really care for that aspect, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> so it's just going to be a Thanksgiving of all carbs. It's all going to be, like, stuffing, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese. I mean, regardless, like, your bulk of, like, the typical American Thanksgiving <laughs> is all carbs anyway with, like, a little bit of either turkey or chicken or whatever. Time comes, but... I also had a psychiatrist appointment today, but that fell through because... They didn't get my text message because... Ah, uh, of course, it's their fault. It's not Amber's fault, guys. You can't ever think it's Amber's fault. It's never Amber's fault. It's always someone else's. And you guys have to realize that, okay? They send a text message a day before the appointment that says, press one to confirm your appointment and two um, if you want to, like, reschedule or something. And so I texted them and for some reason uh, they didn't get the text message. So... How dare they? Um, if they don't get a confirmation, then your appointment gets, like, canceled or whatever. So I was sitting here just, like, waiting because it was through telehealth. And I'm just like, ma'am but yeah i ended up calling and it turns out that they actually didn't even get my text so i had to reschedule for next week which is unfortunate but sure okay. girl we totally believe that one few hours later okay so it is a little bit later at night and i am wrapping some gifts she is taking a nap so i'm gonna give you guys a little tea about vlogmas oh my girlfriend's taking a nap at night that's doesn't uh this whatever year. dude we're I don't be care. opening gifts every day for vlogmas just to make it fun oh god this is giving me the becky like whatever the different earrings every day whatever bullshit that they did that one year um the first day i'll open a gift second day feline then me then feline we go back and forth so oh cool so they're just gonna get each other a bunch of crap that's all gonna end up end up being donated anyway so this year great hi baby we got each Whatever other. happened to that little, uh, <laughs> the little pedal thing that my girlfriend got Amber? I'm sure that, yeah, that, that certainly saw a lot of use, I'm sure. There are 15 gifts each. I might have got her two extra, um, just because. Yeah, because literally Amber's love language is just giving gifts, nothing else. I was having a hard time just choosing 15, so she will be getting 17. So on these little pieces, I put, like, what day she'll be opening, so... Um, my vlog mess is starting on November 30th. I'll be filming on November 30th. That video goes up on the first. Then the video I film on the first goes up on the second. Every year, dude. Every year she has to explain to us how vlogmas works. As if we don't freaking know how vlogmas works, dude. Yeah, we get it. Like, <sighs> we get how the upload works. Et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to be putting December 1st on this one. And I'm about to wrap her second gift right now. And I'll show you guys um, when I'm done. Like, I don't think i wrap very good but y'all very this well is like the yeah. best i've ever wrapped in my life okay hello hello i am back with i hit myself in the face with her second gift this wrapping is so bad i decided not to use this big piece instead i just cut out like a small corner and then wrote december first there wow because you know aesthetic and i was going to use these anyway so i just made multi-purpose use for them so this big <laughs> gift here is 
December 3rd. So actually Vlogmas days 21 through 25, we're both gonna be opening one gift up. But before that, we just go back and forth. This is so convoluted, December but okay. 3rd. We were gonna do this regardless, but with Vlogmas, we thought it could be fun just to add to it. Where should I put it? Wait, should I put them all in the same corner? Yeah, it'll just make it easier to find. So two gifts wrapped, which means 15 more to go. Oh my God. Okay, so I wanted to do my weigh in real quick. Today is day 20. 506.2, so another gain, cool. November 22nd. I mean, we we're gonna be serious this time, but uh, whatever. And I weighed in at 506.2. It's water weight, you guys, it's Yesterday, fine. Yesterday I was on track, which I put here. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. We got a little bit of a loss here. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. Because it's my yesterday fault. Yesterday was like, I need to really get back on track. And I noticed that this was just getting really sloppy because I wanted to start logging it differently because as you guys can see, on every day I put what I did the night before, but instead I wanna do it as a whole. I wanna put the day, the date, my weight for that day and how I did that day all on the same line. So I knew, look at these kitty paws, look at these kitty paws. So I knew I was gonna have to redo it, so I did. I also decided that I'm not gonna have a goal weight. I simply want my goal to just be progress. So 496.2 is what I was on day one, which was November 3rd. Dude, and I'm day telling you, man. will be February 11th. So I just wanna see progress. I wanna see myself more so on track than off track. I obviously wanna be down weight. Setting myself an actual weight loss goal right now in the midst of a lot of binging is not a good idea, but being down at least like 15 pounds would be nice. So here is the new paper that you guys will be seeing. So it's still, sorry, I have rarity hair all over these pages. <laughs> really the only thing that I've changed is no goal. It's just like, this doesn't do anything, dude. Like rewriting it isn't going to change anything. It's not gonna all of a sudden make her like, be like, oh my God, I need to get better. Like this is all just like, temporary like a band-aid i guess is the best way you can put it like it doesn't solve anything it's just like to her she thinks she's just like doing more like you can sit and look at a problem and rewrite the problem 50 different ways but if you don't do anything about it like <laughs> it's not gonna be get solved and that's essentially what she's doing and she's just identifying the problem but in different ways but not taking actual steps to solve the problem i am doing on track off track obviously off track means i overate or i binged and you guys know exactly what on track means <laughs> so it means i didn't overeat i didn't look how many on tracks there are just like compared to off track like just take a moment and look at that binge so far day 20 um it's the end of the night and so far i'm on track so Tomorrow you guys should be seeing an on track right here. I hope so. Um, nighttime is the hardest for me, so we'll see how that goes. Rarity. Okay. Look at this. But yeah, that's just the new way that I am doing it. Um, I like this way better because like I said, I don't really want to talk about my binge eating on here anymore. Yeah, I mean, definitely don't make TikToks about it anymore, you idiot. Um, because people are way too cruel. It's, I don't know how you- Yeah, because you- that was just such a dumb thing to do and oh it's so annoying too in her last video she like tries to say other people do it all the time do you think the average person that uses tiktok and i'm sorry if i'm offending anyone out here but like why would you trust what the average person on tiktok does why would you use that as a justification for your behavior because those people are all trying to get views and get attention too so like why would you be like oh someone else is like glorifying and posting about their binge eating like why can they do it and i can't because it's just not smart to do in my opinion i i just don't think that's a proper way to handle something serious like that you guys expect that to help me at all <laughs> and like then again like just like <laughs> using it for views like i don't know to me that's just very disgusting behavior <laughs> it's crazy you guys are watching somebody who has a binge eating disorder and you guys expect me to not binge okay um, you guys have to really realize yeah, there it is. She said it. You guys have to realize that a couple years ago, every single day would say off track every single day. Well, we're pretty much still there. I'd say binge. The fact that there's even just days that say intuitive or overeating is amazing because I used to binge every single day a couple years ago. And the fact that I don't already shows that I have made progress. People are constantly like, well, you see a psychologist. Why haven't you made any progress? You wouldn't believe. The progress i have made and unfortunately i feel like my progress is declining and that is what i really really need to focus on because i was making really big progress and now i feel like maybe you should actually try to figure out if these appointments are being made instead of just like blaming it all on them like ugh, whatever dude these are just words at the end of the day they don't mean anything 
ever since I stopped Ozempic and ever since I stopped keto. Um, yeah. <laughs> because we f remember keto was the, the reason she failed. Importantly, I just noticed that I am binging more than I was and I'm getting weight more than I was. And I don't like seeing that decline. I want to do better. And I think I just want to keep that off of my YouTube channel. When talking about it, it used to actually help me. Now it's doing the reverse effect. And I don't want to do anything that's not going to help me. I'm I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, she keeps saying, like, she gets mad at us for commenting about the binge eating and stuff. And says so she's not going to talk about it. But then she keeps talking about it. It makes it like a focal point of her channel. So, like, she's done this hundreds of times before already, I'd, I'd venture to say. She's going to keep doing it. She's going to keep talking about it and then get mad at us when we talk about it. Like, whatever, dude. Falling I don't care. At my hair. <laughs> we don't know what's happening. We don't care. We might think it's cute and cozy, fun, and fresh. What are you talking about? So, you guys probably would have never known. But I have the cutest shirt underneath the sweater. Let me show you. I can have my Gucci zone. Look how cute. It's Cleavage City, but you know what? That's probably wild. God, dude. Why? I like it. Like you see so much cleave. Look at that. You also see cat fur. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about the cat hair. Yes, we get it. You have freaking animals. God, dude. You see lint. You see dust. <laughs> okay, that's just one of the... Everyone that wears black clothing and has animal they go through this dude, this oh But look at my that. God. I'm kind of obsessed. Yes I am. So I have been kind of bad at shutting out my blogs. Um I just put a little photo that says, Thank you for watching because it's true. Yeah, because she just like abruptly ends. There's no like there's no like send off or anything. It just like abruptly cuts off. Thank you for watching, but sometimes I suck and I forget to end my video. Right now I'm using Pure Wonder Body Cream by Bath & Body Works. I'm use a little bit more. A little bit more. It smells so good. Can you guys believe Vlogmas is soon? Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna catch up on my videos because what I film on November 30th has to go up on December 1st. Oh my God, dude, we know, God. So on and so forth. I'm not pre-recording any Vlogmas, none of it. I thought of pre-recording like putting up the tree and stuff like that, but like if we- Well, the tree's already been put up for you. Like my girlfriend did it, so you don't have to worry about that one. Decorate it in November, you're gonna see it. So it is what it is. Yeah, my girlfriend's probably gonna do that too. Just like she does everything else. Vlogmas is cheating. So if anyone does that, you're a cheater. Wiener, wiener, I'm going to- Imagine Amber like, yeah, okay. Well, I'm sure those people don't cheat on like other aspects of their life that'll actually harm them, like their diets, for example. So maybe you should worry about not cheating on your fucking diet instead of giving other people shit for how they handle their YouTube channel. Idiot. To end this video, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Let's keep our fingers crossed that I catch up. Probably not, dude. Yeah, you probably won't. You, you've never been on time with your videos. So whatever. That's stupid. I'm done with this. Done. Alright guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, what do you guys think? Comment down below what you think. Is Amber going to continue gaining weight? How high do you think she'll get before the end of the year? Or do you think she'll actually lose weight? I don't want to see it happen. I truly don't. But I think she's just going to continue gaining. And like, these are all like rewriting the freaking... Her little tracker that she made is like all arbitrary. It's not going to do anything for her. Uh, again, she's just looking at the problem, but actually not addressing it. And then like making the excuses with her like therapy appointments is like also not good, but whatever. But at the end of the day, guys, just remember, it's always your fault. It's not Amberlynn Reed's fault that she's making mistakes. It's your guys' fault, the viewers. All right. Just always remember that. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, y'all stay safe out there. And I'll see y'all in the next video.